doing you out of a job, Dean, but um, I've got great pleasure in introducing our next presentation. It's by a lovely wee lass. But anybody who doesn't speak Scottish, that's a lovely girl. <laughs> it's Jenny Cayley, and she's going to do a presentation kind of impacting on the lives of young people and improving it. And she's a speech and language therapist. So I welcome Jenny Cayley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm Jenny and I'm a speech and language therapist working in Wiltshire. Um, and to start off, I'd just like to show you a short video of um, Seb. Um, the difficulties what I had was like um, talking, uh, listening, understanding, socialising, and um, understanding. Really, those are the main things. When I found things hard, it was a bit upsetting and sad and really angry as well. It was really frustrating and annoying and made me just kind of sometimes go off on a crump or storm off or sometimes cry, but it's just really annoying because I just get so angry. Okay, so Seb's story and those statistics highlight the significant impact that speech and language difficulties are having on students within secondary schools. And this has been an area that has been identified as a need on the NHS business plan within Wiltshire. So the start of their future, um, this project aims to create a speech and language resource and training for secondary school teachers, demonstrating how they can adapt the curriculum to meet the students' needs within the classroom, so alongside everyday lessons that they're carrying out. The benefits of this project, as you can see with Seb, he was quite demotivated. Um, so this project aims to increase the student's self-esteem and motivation within the classroom. As well as this, um, feedback from the teachers currently says that, particularly in secondary schools, it's really difficult to work with students because they're changing different classrooms and everything, and often only get speech and language therapy about once a week, whereas this project would increase the level of support that teachers can give within the classroom, um, so alongside their everyday activities. This in turn um, could become quite humiliating for students missing lessons and obviously they're missing their core teaching. This project aims to increase the number of A to C GCSE grades that students are obtaining, as well as increase the rate that it, um, decrease the rate that it takes for them to achieve their speech and language targets, which can impact on NHS waiting times. And as you, as you saw in that video, um, Challenging behaviour is a real um, kind of difficulty that many students do experience with um, speech and language difficulties. Many young offenders have speech and language difficulties. So this project aims to reduce the challenging behaviour that is presented, particularly within the classroom. And costings. Um, the Royal College Matrix found that for every pound invested in supporting students with, it, with speech and language difficulties, there's a £6.43 um, return to the economy through increased life earnings. And so this works out that if a student's receiving one hour of speech and language therapy a week from a class teacher, this works out as only £180 um, economic saving, whereas this project aims to increase the amount of speech and language therapy to approximately 25 um, hours a week, which would work out as £4,500 saving just for one student, and there's 178 secondary school students on our caseload at the moment. So the cost of this project Initially, the project was going to be costing £27,000, which equated to for, for nine months of therapist time so that we could get backfill so the clinical time wasn't impacted on, as well as getting illustrators to make the resource and promotional video. However, after liaising with commissioners and colleagues um, and looking into free resources, this amount has been reduced, and I'll go into that in a bit in a minute. But this project um, 
that we are looking for currently is £13,500, and this would enable a pilot project to be carried out, um, and we'd still be able to get the illustrators to um, help make the resource, make, make it look very professional. So the steps that we've taken so far, um, we have liaised with commissioners and colleagues who frequently pitch um, for funding, and they said that the project was really good, um, but it may um, be more appealing for um, other funding sources if we could lower that request for funding and carry out a pilot to start with. So we did this through investigating free resources, such as printing um, um, supplies for local businesses, um, and also looking into the potential of um, the students making a promotional video, getting media students and the, speech and language, the students on the speech and language therapy caseload involved themselves. Um, I was able to carry out a proof of concept questionnaire because we had a lot of national statistics, but I wanted to get some local, um, local data. And um, the results mirror those national statistics, really. The graph on the left highlights that um, a lot of teachers do actually feel quite unconfident at supporting um, students. And um, when asked, well, what, what's going to help you guys, what's going to make it easier, a lot said training and a resource adapting the curriculum, which I kind of went, yippee, because that's exactly what this project wanted. Um, so the next steps of this project include pitching to commissioners and getting that all-important funding, as well as developing those free resources. Um, we have already begun to collate some ideas and there is a working party at um, our trust who are working to support the secondary school students, but we do need that funding to create the resource at the start of their future. And the next steps where we can go is once that pilot has been carried out, we can evaluate the resources and seek further funding. And, you know, once we've made the resource, we have got that resource that we can then sell on to other schools and NHS Trust, and we can then reinvest that money into further supporting the secondary school students. Um, who are having kind of these significant difficulties. 